Hi, and welcome back to our GCP Mindset channel and all topics on clinical research. Today, we will talk about serious adverse event reporting for investigators. More after the break. Serious adverse event should be reported within 24 hours. What are serious adverse events? Watch our other video. The investigator should report all known information associated with the serious adverse event. Even if new insights emerge after the serious adverse event notification, a time frame of 24 hours is required for follow-up serious adverse event reports. Serious adverse events should be reported by the investigator to the Drug Safety Department of the sponsor. The death of a subject should in any case be reported to the Ethics Committee, regardless of the cause. Also serious adverse events influencing the benefit risk profile of a study must be reported to the Ethics Committee, and the sponsor should in any case keep a record of each individual serious adverse event. When reporting serious adverse events, it is your responsibility as investigator to assess the causality. A study nurse is not authorized to take over this responsibility from an investigator. Causality assessment between a medicinal product and an event is usually defined by the categories not related, possibly related, and probably related. Sometimes certainly related and related can be found as further categories in the study documents. Not related means that there is no causal relationship between the investigational product and adverse event. Possibly related means that the event is more likely than not related to the research procedures, and probably related means that a causal relationship is very likely. An important feature is that the two latter categories must automatically be classified as related because the sponsor is required to consider the worst case scenario, which is a relationship to the study. During studies, it occasionally happens that investigators constantly classify events as possibly related in order to avoid their possible responsibility for serious adverse events and because they are shy of making mistakes. They assume that the category possibly related is a diplomatic way of judging the causality of an adverse event, which leaves room in both directions. However, this thinking is wrong as possibility related needs to be considered as related. Investigators should judge the causality very carefully. If an investigator doesn't have enough experience to do so, he or she should review the investigator's brochure or should discuss the adverse event with more experienced investigators. If the investigational product causes an adverse drug reaction, which is unexpected, it needs to be classified as an unexpected adverse drug reaction. These drug reactions cannot be found in the investigator's brochure. However, occasionally events have been classified as related even before the study medication was administered or after the study treatment had already been stopped one year previously. Against the background of such information, it is obvious that the classification of causality as related is often not logical. In such cases, the sponsor needs to contact the investigator to evaluate the causality assessment once again. Nevertheless, the judgment of the investigator has highest priority. So much for today. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. We hope that we could give you some interesting information and look forward to see you next time. Goodbye.